everybody, and welcome to episode six of Fred Before Bed. My name is Brendan Orr. Thank you all for tuning in. And we are here with some new faces at the table today. As always, we have the very lovely chest hair filled <laughs> Scott Bennett. Always there, always ready. On the end down there, we have Justin Knowles sitting in with us today. And we have Hello. a new face at the table today. <laughs> Lauren Turner is joining us. Alex and Jolene both could not make it today. So we would actually like to start the show to have a moment of silence. Yeah, so anyway, they couldn't make it today because they both actually came under the weather. Um, so at the same time. At the same time, yeah, it's funny. It's just going around. And Justin, actually, you have a cold yeah, too, I don't you? Yeah, I have a cold, but uh, I know what's important. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shots fired. Well, anyway, so we thought we'd change things up a little bit today. We have an awesome show for you guys. We have the rugby team on today, so that'll be fun. We're going to be talking movies, music, the usual, and we have music at the end from Crash Feed. These guys are awesome, so get excited, everybody. But, all right, let's jump into things here. The main story last week is our main story this week. Fred Fest Saga is resolved. As you guys may have saw who follow us on Twitter, our name is not... Any, is no longer Fred Before Bed. We are now back to Fred Before Bed. There is going to be a Fred Fest. David Herman did not send the email, though, so there were no grammatical errors or spelling errors or anything. Of course, of course. But what are our thoughts on this? Everything getting resolved, Scott? What do you think? Good. It's, uh, it should, it's how it should be. Um, never really been a problem. You know, never too destructive on campus, so why not keep it? Still not going to go, regardless. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? turning it into a bigger deal than it ever has been. Justin, how do you feel about it? Well, I was at the meeting, and uh, without a headliner, without something, you know, uh, Spectrum is under a budget, so they can't do anything crazy, but until the school is able to put on events that people actually want to go to, it's going to be, it's, nobody's going to go to Fred Fest. I'm going for the barbecue, but after that, I'm peace. Oh, I'm so about so. to go for some dinosaur. Yeah. I am pumped. That's the only I good might. part. I never had dinosaur before. Oh, so I you haven't had dinosaur before? No, I haven't. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, the line last year was It was outrageous. ridiculous. I didn't even get it. I didn't either. I got a ticket to get it, too, and I just yeah, didn't. same. Oh. Well, let us know at home for our new viewers out there. What we like to do on the show is live tweeting. So tweet at us. I think we, we get our Twitter handle up here. Uh, maybe. There it is. At Fred Before Bed, tweet at us your thoughts. Are you guys going to go to Fred Fest? If you guys have any questions for us throughout the show, want to chime in. We'll read some of them on the air, answer questions and whatnot. And ask what they would like. And ask what, yeah, tell us what you think would make Fred Fest. Let's help out Spectrum. What would you, yeah, Spectrum is actually, we're going to have them on the show. Yeah. We're going to be interviewing them in the upcoming weeks. But what do you guys want to see for you guys watching at home to, like, go on at Fred Fest? What would make you want to be there? So tweet at us, let us know. Our Twitter handle's up there, at Fred Before Bed. Um... So why don't we move on here? Well, actually, are you guys gonna go? I mean, you said you wouldn't. I'll be there. I'll, You're gonna I go mean, for I'll dinosaur. Be there for a while. Mostly for dinosaur, yeah. We'll see how the day goes. <laughs> Game time decision. Game time. Depends where I am. Everybody and, should and how, check it out for a little bit. I think you should. Yeah. Not sober I am. Drink a lot of water. <laughs> a lot yeah, of water. a lot of Laura's kite. We wow. switched the first two letters. Yeah, yeah, I, I gotcha. Oh, I, I, mean. I, I gotcha. I don't know. I think I'm going to try and make my way over. You can't go wrong with Dinosaur. Yeah. I've had Dinosaur once, and it just, like, rocked my world. And now they have one in Buffalo, and I have a feeling I'm going to be there a lot this summer. There so we should go together. I, I agree. agree. Let's, let's, let's yeah, go. local let's band. Should we, invite, should we invite some of our audience members to come with us? Oh, who wants to go to Dinosaur with us? This oh, people, uh, pe people in the studio are raising their hands. Do you want to go to Dinosaur with us? No. Okay, never mind. Our stage manager, yeah, Diana, she does, says not she does not like us. I'm She's just not feeling us today. No. I'm sorry. Okay. Well, if you guys want to go with us to Dinosaur, let us know. We'll make it a trip. It'll be great. We're going to Willie's after, which is like pretty much just as good as like a high quality restaurant. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. It's like the same thing, pretty it's, much. Uh, like a shipwreck. What? Wow. <laughs> no, I, I, I might just say it might just be biased. People could be here. watching in Willie right now I, and just I, get I know, real offended. I know. I know, but it's been it's almost three years. <laughs> it's almost three years, and I just you can't stand it anymore. Really? What's I like El Diablo, thing? though. I do like El Diablo. It has helped a little bit. But I yeah. do miss trends at the same time. Those paninis. I know. Right? Come on. <laughs> well, what do you think? What about Erie? I mean, do I do miss do Erie, anything? too. I mean, Chicken Farm Tuesdays, Cheesy Friday. Oh. Right? Oh. Where we started? Where we started? Oh, and we have a tweet coming in. Someone, uh, Stephanie Sosnowski, mm. says, we want Beyonce. That would be sweet. If Beyonce comes to Fred Fest and kills it, I'll be there. Mm -hmm. 
You don't mess with Beyonce. No. So I feel like she just get everyone real pumped. Maybe Jay-Z will come. She is a survivor. Punny. How, do, how does that one go again? <laughs> I'm not singing that. <laughs> don't worry, everybody. Scott will be singing <clears throat> later at some point in the show. And yes, for all of those... For those of you who saw last week, and pretty much every episode, we will have our weekly dose of Scott chest hair. At some point or another, it will happen. Mm -hmm. It remains to be seen, though, when. It'll be a surprise, so get ready. We actually had somebody last week said they wanted to lick his chest hair. Which and is... we're thinking about maybe doing on-air braiding of the chest mm -hmm. hair. Yeah. Uh, uh, let maybe, her rage for a while. Maybe, yeah, maybe what I'll do is I'll keep shaving over the summer, the next season. Oh, God. <laughs> That'll be just it's gonna gorilla be status. Raging, just chest hair. But, yes, yeah, Steph, to answer your question, if Beyonce comes to Fred Fest, I'll be there. Mm -hmm. So, because she just kill it. Also, just a quick plug too for those of you guys watching at home. Relay for Life this Saturday. Go check it out. I know. The, I know the girl running it. She's from Grand Island. And I'm actually going to be there hosting it with a TV station. Going to be going around interviewing people and stuff. So, if you get to come and see my face. So you're part of the TV station? No. Really? Oh, you want to? You can help me host it if you want. That'd be pretty cool. Okay. You are gonna be there. Anyway, you can come see you me. Just gotta, not you Scott. just gotta let me know. I just did. Okay. Maybe we'll see Scott. We probably won't, but you know what we will see? I'll just carry around pictures of your chest hair and <laughs> people will just, yeah, exactly. People will know that I'm there. Yes, they'll know. The just presence, hold up pictures of chest hair. The of me is there. <laughs> just chest hair picture, just chest shots, actually, of you. <laughs> we'll have all the ladies are going to be coming up. Is that Scott? That is chest? I feel like I've seen that once. I feel like he's here. No, no, just his chest in hair. In spirit, in spirit. I can't believe right, having this conversation. Let's move on <laughs> from the chest hair, which we will come back to. But tomorrow, April 10th, is the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame induction ceremony. The inductees include Peter Gabriel, Hall and Oates, oh Kiss, gosh. Nirvana, Linda Rostat, and Cat Stevens. And Lifetime Achievement inductees include Brian Epstein, who was the former manager of the Beatles, and Andrew Lug Oldham. And the award for musical excellence goes to the East Street Band. So do we like it? Do you guys any fans of any of the inductees? Um. Love Nirvana, love Cat Stevens. Like, actually, you know, honestly, I don't know who Linda Ronstadt is, but I'm sure she's very good. So. Probably, she's probably a great lady. So, I mean, she, honestly, the ones she, I've heard, no she could be. could be. There's a chance. Probably. She's she at, might uh, be a folk singer, she might not. She's at Woodstock, actually. She uh, um, invented the uh, corn dog at Woodstock. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, that's why she's being inducted in. Yeah, and, corn uh, dogs. And uh, I'm a professional athlete. Yes. An imperial athlete, that is. Yes. Go team. Never said you were good at it, but yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes How about I you? am Billy Leno right now. I am Billy Leno. Oh, okay. Oh, my God. That name does not. He watches. You know, we have a lot. Yeah, watch of, tomorrow. All uh, the Buffalo <laughs> Sabres that we all know you guys are all watching. Beyonce is probably watching right now. Jay Z is a loyal, loyal <laughs> fan of the show. Oh, yeah. uh, Kanye West, he watches. I mean, he. Paul McCartney. Paul McCartney watches all the time. Yeah, he actually, we were texting earlier. He's saying he, maybe yeah. we'll have him on the show. But, uh, yeah. I do um, like the list, though. Yeah, how about you guys? Do you guys, any of you, fan, are you fans of any of the artists on here? I like Kiss. I mean, do you want to rock and roll all night? Kiss is awesome, and party every day. Yes, I do. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Lauren, anyone? I'm personally not a huge fan of any of them, but oh, I, I have to say, I do no. dig Nirvana. All right, that's cool. From time to time. What about any people who are already in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? I mean, for me, huge Beatles fan. Yeah. Love Red Hot Chili Le Peppers. Uh, Bob Dylan, The Doors, Pink Floyd, Zeppelin, can't go wrong there. Any, any of you guys have any other favorites? Uh, oh, yeah. oh, yeah, George Harrison, Janis Joplin, Queen, Ooh. Paul McCartney, and John Lennon also. Queen's a good one. I'd have to say Michael Jackson. Oh, yeah. I'm pretty big Michael Jackson. Mm -hmm. I go, can you sing us some MJ? <laughs> no, I <laughs> believe what about, what about, can you, can you romantically you know sing think? me You Make My Dreams Come True right no. now? No, I don't know the lyrics. What? Huh? You don't know the chorus? I do not know the chorus, no. Just Tom. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Uh, sing the singing, the singing will come. If you do want to see me sing, though, plug this Ooh. Friday night. Well, Friday, I'm going to be on open mic night, which is actually run by our stage manager Diana, and so I'm going to be on there at 6 p.m. playing probably like a 10 minute set. So if you guys want to hear me actually sing, check me out. Maybe I'll have Scott we sang, on. We sang last week. We did. We had a real, real nice duet. That was, and it nice. was awesome. Even got a compliment. We did get a compliment on it. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, so let's see here. All right, we have Paul McCartney is awesome. Brendan, stop everything. Wait, what? <laughs> Tommy McAllister, who always tweets at us, but we don't know who they are, said at Fred before bed. 
Paul McCartney is awesome. Brendan, stop being everything I hate in this world. Hashtag, come on, Brendan. Tommy, what the heck, man? I thought we were good like last week. You know, you insulted me. I don't even know who you are. You're definitely someone fake because no one change, has the egg bro. as their profile picture. People change. Like, haven't you been told that before, though? What? That you're like everything people hate about. No, I no? haven't. Oh, okay. Cross that out. Wow, man. Hey, we're gonna have to talk about this. You had me here. Whatever. Margaret says we miss we miss Alex Braggins. Well, we do too. Alex unfortunately came under the weather over the past few days and was really really sick. We had a meeting earlier today, and she's just really really under the weather. So, we'd like to give our best to Alex and Jolene, who cannot be here tonight. Uh, Sarah Hamill, and also shout out to uh, all the RAs and RDs and, and the RD Kyle and Disney because they keep tweeting at us to do that. Says he should wax his chest hair. Ooh. On set? <laughs> on the air. What if we did a live wax? Well, the we thing is, I'd embarrass myself because I'd probably scream. Steve I feel like Carell. they make for great TV. 40 year old virgin what, type Scott, stuff. Scott, you the great for charity. Like, they do bald for Fox. Oh, like, yeah. You could like, probably, like. Yeah, you know? You know what? I think it's cool. time. Can we get the close up, please? <laughs> can, we, can we do it now? I think, we, I think it's time. <laughs> the time has come. Can we get in there a little more, maybe? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Show it. Oh, wow. Look at. Oh, wow. They're nice and curly. It's lost too. right now. My finger is lost in his chest hair. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> don't okay. Rip, don't rip my mic off here. My bad. You're good. It's right there. <laughs> it's right there. <laughs> and somebody, this has nothing to do with what we're talking about, but DaCosta tweeted us saying, shout out to the people failing midterm grades that are currently at Dollar Drinks. I mean, well, shout out to them, but <laughs> rock and roll all get day. Your, get yes. your, yeah, get your grades up there, folks. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> and if you're, it's it's a little early. To, I mean, ten o'clock. I feel like Dollar yeah. Drinks doesn't pick yeah, out till you, later. You want to survive? Are Jeez. you at Dollar Drinks right now, tweeting at us? Like, <laughs> do they have us on at Old Talk Main? Talk us up to the bar, yeah. yeah. Get us on. If anyone is at Old Main right now, actually, none of you would hear us because we're probably not on at all. So many go to Old Main right now and turn it on the TVs because that would be awesome. Well, let's see. All right, Tommy McCaster again. I guess you'll never know, Brendan. Uh, parentheses. Hey, Scott. Let's go grab a beer. Mm -hmm. Tommy McAllister. Who is this person? Reveal yourself, and then yes, I will come get a beer <laughs> after the show. Are you 21? Yes, I am. When is your birthday? January 23rd, 1993. Ooh. He's got you there. He's good. He's good. He's real good. <laughs> yeah, don't have to, don't have to use that uh, <laughs> old PA, you know. Yeah, yeah. When I was no. 24, when I was really 20. Yeah, man. Anyway, if you guys have any thoughts, your favorite artists who are in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, if you like any of the people, any of the inductees, tweet at us, let us know. Can we get the Twitter feed up again? There she is. So tweet us, let us know your thoughts. If you guys have any questions about anything at all, please tweet us, let us know. Oh, we have a couple right now. Chris Jones suggested waxing. I, however, am a fan. So Chris Jones is the one who suggested you'd wax. What do you, would you wax your chest hair on, on like, camera? On camera. What if I did it? Yeah. Oh. You would do it? That's a binding resolution. Yeah, that, 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 I'll have to let you know on that. All yeah. right. If, actually, if 10 people tweeted us to do it, then I'll do oh. it. Oh. If we get 10 tweets saying to do it, we will do it. Oh, that is Tommy a good McAllister call. must be related to Kevin McAllister from Home Alone. I'm living alone. Wow. I'm living alone. Sorry, I was just quoting the movie. Any other good quotes in the movie you can think of? Um, Buzz, your girlfriend, <laughs> woof. Yes. <laughs> Kevin, you're such a disease. Dan McCormick said, personal question for Brendan. Do you brush your teeth before or after you shower? I'm a before kind of guy. Or I mean, during. That's just, I, I'm not a during person. That's just not my thing. I, I'm, I'm definitely a before, sh I'm a pre-shower brusher. What about you? Oh, sorry. Do you brush your chest hair? No. <laughs> Would you like to? Would I like Would to? Would Justin like to? Would braid Lauren his? Like no, brush it or braid it. We'll do both. No. Okay. Next, Lauren? Next season. I don't know. I might have to pass. Well, that's a shame. I'll, I'll, I will miss it out. I'm more for charity. I'd do it. All right. Well, it's nostalgia time right now. Uh, we're going to talk some 90s music. This past week was the 20th anniversary of Kurt Cobain's death. R.I.P. Kurt. Speaking of So Nirvana. it coincides, obviously, with his Hall of Fame induction. But we thought it'd be kind of cool since Nirvana was one of the biggest artists to come out of the 90s. What are your favorite artists from the 90s? Uh, Third Eye Blind. Wow. Great call. Great call. What do you got? Green Day. Green I've Day? I've always been a Green Day fan. All right. 
Blink 182. Oh. But in the end, strictly 80s Joel. Yeah. <laughs> strictly 80s Joel. Good point. Good point. I guess that's fair. I'm a big Oasis guy, even though everyone knows them for Wonderwall. Wonderwall. Champagne Supernova. Oh. Oh, Hanson. The, the band. Umbop. Oh, the oh, Umbop. Yeah. And Red Hot Chili Peppers. Uh, yes. Can't go wrong there. Foo Fighters, you know. Yes. All the greats. Here's you one too. for you. Best songs of the 90s. I'll start off here. Only Want to Be With You, Hootie and the Blowfish. Ooh. Baby Got Back, What Is Love. What Is Love, Love. Yeah. Baby Don't Turn by Hathaway. Hathaway, it's mm. classic. And uh, pretty much anything that Will Smith has ever done in his life. So yeah. I'm a big Will Smith kind of guy. What do you think, Scott? Tell me some songs, maybe. I don't have an HD right now. An individual, I'd say, you know, Never Let Me Go, Never Let You Go, or, you know, Dry Blind is good. How does that one okay. go? It's not happening yet. It's a good one. Oh, man. <laughs> Killing Me Softly. That is from Diana. That's another great one. Very true. Um, How about you? Do you have any? Barbie Girl in 90s. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. It's not particularly good. But Valid. It Justin. Uh, 500 Miles it by The Proclaimers. Oh. I will walk yeah. 500 <laughs> miles. And I will walk 500 <laughs> more. Cut. Da da da. <laughs> da da da. That's a great family guy when he does that uh, you know, flashback and then he's like, da da da, da da da, my turn, my turn, just yeah. knocks them both out. It's great. We just got to tweet, are you guys fans of Lil B? Are we fans of Lil B? I heard he has a, con a concert in Rochester. Oh, how no, can we Yeah, like DMX. this week or something. Oh, wow. ow, ow. Yeah. <laughs> it's more deep. Where my dog's at? Yeah. How can we oh. get... Uh, mm -hmm. Here's one. Awesome. Creed. Can you take me higher? <laughs> Great. That was my best Creed impersonation. And clearly, it was not working out that well. The theme song from The Fresh Prince is so good. Scott? Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Come on. <laughs> now, no. this is the story. <laughs> oh, you're you're singing, supposed to do you're it. You're singing with me. You don't even go here. Yes, I do go here. Where's your flash card? Go. In my pocket. <laughs> Let's go. Right. Yeah. Smoke sports. Prove it. It's a really embarrassing picture, though, but I don't even care. I'm going to just cover up my face so you can see the... You could... <coughs> my picture is so... What? Because my name is on it. It's spelled wrong, though. No, it's not! Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's an E-N. E it's Brandon, uh, right? Not Brandon? Stop shaking. Uh, yes. Michael J. Fox, stop shaking. Wow. <laughs> oh, wow. He watched oh. too soon. Oh, no, you did not. <laughs> He's tweeted, has he? Wow. Michael J. Fox is a loyal viewer. He's watching yes. at home right and now. And where we're going, we don't need roads with, either. Right? With his lovely family, he watches every week right now in their lovely yeah. suburban home in the middle of Arkansas. And they are loyal viewers to the show on Ustream. They hook it up to their big screen TV. What's wrong with you? Yeah. We do need a new Disgusting. Back to the Future, though. We do. You Another Back to the Future. Let's be stars in it. Let me make Evelyn stars. Fisher, here's one for you, Scott. I strictly remember Scott being a fan of Backstreet Boys freshman year. Still true today? Uh, yeah, Lauren actually. I think I have some videos of <laughs> yeah. that. Oh. Maybe we'll put <laughs> those out on our Twitter. Yeah, that was uh, good old uh, Shaddy so. Hall, I think, 226. Oh, I think we should maybe go for that. <laughs> yeah, we might have to do that. All right. Uh, Elena, shout out to you. I will give people shout outs today. Uh, Brendan, I'll give you a hint of who I am. I'm in the studio watching. You no, you're not in the studio right now. Whoever you are, Tommy McAllister, you are not in the studio. I know that. Fan, no, fan, I fangirl over kill the clock is the hashtag. All right, well, that's cool then. I guess kill the clock's my band, so I, I guess you're okay, Tommy. You're in a band? Yeah. No, you're, I'm you're not. In a band. I'm not. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Um, how do we get on the show? Uh, MCMXCV tweeted at us. How do you get, are you a part of a group, a campus organization, like, perhaps? Click on it. we got to see. Uh, I don't know who this gentleman is. Looks like a great guy. Looks like a real nice guy. Uh, I don't think I, I don't recognize him. Do you know him? Does he have a beard? No, no he doesn't have a beard. Yeah. It's not Trevor. We know that. And he's well, wearing shorts in the winter. Are you it's in any clubs Trevor. or organizations? <laughs> Maybe uh, if MCMXCV, if that is your real name, if you're in any clubs, we'd love to have you on sometime. Probably one of those bots. Yeah. Oh, what we got to make people start putting their, like, Maybe that's what Tommy McAllister is. <laughs> yeah, 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 Anything yeah, with this egg, I feel like we should just not answer. Yes. Yes. Could lose yes. viewers, though. <laughs> oh, that's true. What if Tommy McAllister All right, if you have an egg as a profile picture, I guess that I will answer. Well, you've answered Tommy every time. I know, because he gets me <laughs> mad because he's so mean to me. Thanks to Tommy. Me. 
Oh. Hashtag, all right, Credence Labithum, Labith Man, that's definitely a fake person, mm. says, <laughs> hashtag, who's Tiny McAllister? I don't even know. All right, we're going to move on here. We are going to have something new here we're going to do. We're going to do weekly, or not weekly, we're going to have monthly movie updates with you guys. We are lucky to have enough to have our movie correspondent, Dave, with us today. Dave is the host of Pictures in Motion, a TV show that we have here, 8.30 p.m. every Monday on WNYF, you guys can watch it here, same way you are watching now, Campus Channel 8, or Ustream.tv. You can follow them at PixInMotions1 on Twitter. So, without further ado, we would like to introduce the very lovely Dave. Thanks, guys. Thank you for having me. about some movies? Yeah, absolutely. Um, in case anyone's noticed, last week was uh, the summer, uh, summer movie season. Excuse me, I'm a little under the weather. Um, Captain America Winter Soldier came out. It was awesome. Uh, so I highly recommend anyone go see that if you haven't. It made $95 million at the box office. The number one? Number one at the box office. Broke the April opening record. Really? Yes. It was yes. good. It was great. It was very good. Yeah. It was yeah. very good. Not the best, but it was good. I liked the first one better, but yeah, it was good. I hate the first one. Really? Wow. Absolutely. Okay. okay. But Ooh. nonetheless, it was not yeah. a bad film. Uh, number two is uh, Noah. You know, uh, yeah, it's right, right, right. Uh, second week release. How was that? Did you see Fantastic it? movie. Really? Absolutely. I wanted to over that. There was, but let's forget. It's not called Noah's Ark. It's called Noah. So it's about him and not about the Ark. Guy. My it's man. The guy. Does the Ark in it? Oh, oh the Ark's in it. it oh. But it's very it's psychological. No. I couldn't find it online. There's a lot more to it. But does Emma Watson get topless in that? Uh, yes. No way. Yeah, way. <laughs> now, you don't see everything, but yeah, she does get topless. Is there all the males out there? Does anybody know? I know. Is there an 11 o'clock? I'm going. Like, if she gets... Just book, man. Just go. Just go. If that's what you get out of the movie, good for you. So that's all I'm looking for. All right. Good for you. And coming in number three, of course, the third week release was Divergent. That new young adult you know, franchise they're trying to make with Shane Lee Woodley. I actually never had a chance to see it. I heard mixed reviews about it. Really? Yep. I mean, it, they're trying to kind of knock off the Hunger Games, which is not a smart idea when you got the hottest commodity in Hollywood and oh, Jennifer Lawrence. Jayla, my girl. So you really Whew. shouldn't be doing that. But, you know, it made $113 million at the box office. So okay. we will be seeing a sequel in the next few years. Really? Oh, absolutely. If absolutely. I can ask you this. Sure. If you had the chance to star in any of these movies, which one? Noah. Noah? Without a question. Really? Emma Watson. Oh, that is true. Clever man. All right. No, I'm just kidding. It's, ever, it's a fantastic movie all around. If you ever had a movie about yourself, who would you want to star in it? Oh, oh, As you. George Clooney. Really? I love George Clooney. Can we Clooney. get a close-up on Dave? Is there a George Clooney resemblance? Do you, no. Do you guys at home think that he does look like George Clooney? No. I don't, I don't but George Clooney can be anybody, so it's okay. That's Ooh. true. He's a Come great on, he's actor. a dashing guy. He so. is a, dashing is a good word to use. He you is. Talk, is there any movies maybe to look forward to coming up? Uh, the ones coming up I'm trying to think of right now, uh, April 18th is Transcendence, which okay. is directed by Wally Pfister, who uh, is the DP for Christopher Nolan. And I'm pretty sure by now everyone's seen Dark Knight Trilogy, because if you haven't, Skip the third one. But, Whoa! Um, yeah, I know. I get what? a lot of trouble for that one. I hate Dark Knight Rises. But I can do a whole segment on that. Um, oh, that comes out in April, and then May is Godzilla Are remake. Yes. Oh, yeah, Godzilla looks, Godzilla looks awesome. So that comes out in IMAX, and May 2nd is, of course, Amazing Spider-Man 2. Oh, of course. Which I actually am excited big to see that I one. I am very That'll excited That'll be pretty that cool. One. I actually kind of think Godzilla's going to be cool, Dave, our cool lovely too. stage manager, so. has a... Guardians of the Galaxy, that comes out in August. August 1st, which... In my opinion, I think that is probably the gutsiest move Marvel will make and will probably be their biggest payoff. Really? Absolutely. Can Chris you give us a little synopsis of it? Yeah, Guardians of the Galaxy, it's no. a very unknown uh, comic. It's one of the more lesser-known Marvels, and it's about these four characters, or five that they're taking on, um, who literally have to guard the galaxy from Thanos, who really? is their arch nemesis, who is the strongest villain in the Marvel Universe. So <laughs> it's awesome, <laughs> and Chris Pratt's <laughs> great from Parks and Rec. You guys watch Parks and Rec? Oh, yeah, of course. Chris Pratt. Uh, then you got Zoe Saldana is playing Gamora, who's an alien assassin. Okay. You got Dave Bautista, ex WWE star, oh, is playing yes. Jackson Destroyer, wow. who is on a vengeance. You got a raccoon. Brian for winning. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You've got a rocket shooting a machine gun, and you've got a tree named Groot that just smashes people. So it's everything you want and more. Wow, that does. Sound I like cannot wait. I want yeah, look up the trailer; it's online. Definitely August first. And you can't forget. I mean, and no, even though it's Friday on the road. Hunger Games. Or what is Hunger the next one called? Mockingjay Part 1. Mockingjay. Oh, it's going to be a two-part. God. Yeah, I can't so we'll wait. Come out in November. I can't wait. I'm not Catching in love with Jennifer Lawrence awesome. or anything, I swear. Jennifer no. Lawrence is beautiful, but I will never watch one of his movies. Why? Why? It seems like a girl thing to me. Oh, no. No. Dude, 
Dude, it's about kids it. killing each other. Where's girly about that? I don't that? have any part of that. Yeah. Dude, I have so so no interest in you or your movies. That's fine. Oh. That's fine. I haven't made any movies yet. So <laughs> I'll Touché. make it. It's fine. We're working on it first. Yeah, We're having a wrestling brand. match after the show between these. We can oh, I can't wait. I will make him like Hunger Games. We can have our own Hunger Games. There we go. Between you two. I Would you like to go right now? What if we spoof or broad sword? We should totally spoof the Hunger Games. Uh, like how we did to catch, a, to catch a Predator. We should spoof the Hunger Games. There's a lot games. to make fun of. There is. The a Neighbors? Is that a movie of. coming out? The neighbors? neighbors? Yeah, that's with Seth Rogen and Zach no. Efron. Oh, right. That's 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 going to be Liam great, Neeson. actually. Now it's got 100% Rotten Tomatoes. Ridiculous. I think you can definitely pull off. ask you a movie. What was the movie? It's like where everyone can kill people for 24 hours. Oh, the oh, Purge. Purge. Is there, there a second to that? The Purge Anarchy is coming out because oh, the movie is a box office hit for a very I like so movie. It's actually bad. good. That's what I heard. I but apparently, wow. I saw it. The, the trailers hyped it up so much. I was so pumped. I was so let down. And the so concept's so good. The execution is so is. poor. Best part Definitely. of that movie. Yeah. 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 But the new one looks <laughs> all right. I mean, it's kind of dumb because like they're driving to get stuck and now they're stuck in Anarchy. So. Yeah. I don't know. Well, Dave, thank you so much, yeah, man. Thanks for having me, guys. Thank you. Oh, yeah, Appreciate we'll definitely have you on again. You guys can catch Dave, like we said, every Monday at 8.30 on Pictures in Motion. Check nice. it out, guys. Check it Talking out. movies. Absolutely. All right, so let's move on here. For all of you Breaking Bad fans out there, Brian Cranston is going to release a memoir next year. And in the press release, he stated that the it would tell stories of my life and reveal the secrets and lies that I lived with for six years shooting Breaking Bad. I've never watched an episode of Breaking Bad. I'm sorry, everybody. I know. I'm sorry. I'm I've sorry. Seen, I've seen a couple. But I haven't seen a full episode. I've seen like yeah. bits and pieces. Oh, <laughs> Dave just said it sucks. Well, it's just. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Everyone you're gonna, you're, gonna, you're gonna offend a lot of people out there. But I think it'll be sweet. I think I would maybe read it. But my question for you guys: If you can pick maybe a few celebrities who you would like to see write an autobiography, who would it be? Morgan Freeman. He's got to read it to me. Oh, that would be wow. pretty cool. An audiobook. I would every oh time anyone God. hears the sound of my voice. <laughs> that would be But can cool. you do that impersonation again? <laughs> I'm not that good at it. That, can you do I don't know. It doesn't matter. Come on. <laughs> every time everyone hears the sound of my voice. You sound like old Greg. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm old Greg. <laughs> you butchered it. Yeah, yeah oh, that's why I said you I like to try, it. though. Yeah, exactly. It's all about trying. My it's Kermit so one lived up to expectations last week, but I'm a, little, I'm a little upset that you didn't have a better Morgan Freeman. You kind of look like him, though. Yeah, in no lot, way, shape, going. or form. You have his Agree heart. to disagree. I do. I have his nose. And his heart. And his heart. Yeah. Lauren, what about you? Um, as much as I don't like Miley Cyrus, I feel like she would write a really interesting book. And also Carrie Underwood, because I love her, and her life is perfect. Very Jim true. Carrey, actually, too. Jim Carrey would be sweet. All right, Justin. Mine would be the best ever. Oh, Bill okay. Murray and Aww. Steve Carell. Oh, my God. That would be Aww. awesome. I'd buy those I immediately. I would buy a Bill Murray autobiography the day it came oh, out. Oh, yeah. The about Steve Carell. Well, if he wrote it as Michael Scott. <laughs> oh, <laughs> That would be sweet. All right. I got Charlie Sheen, I think, would be pretty cool. Okay. I think that'd be outrageous. I think Gary Busey, just oh. because he's out of his mind. Oh Gary Busey gosh. is probably the craziest man I've ever seen. He looks like a serial killer. Uh -huh. I'm convinced. Clint Eastwood. Um, even though we can't, I'd love to have read like a John Lennon autobiography. I think that would have been pretty cool. And, of course, I'd like to read one down the road for my girl, J-Law. Uh, Clint Eastwood. Too. Oh, Clint Eastwood would be sweet. Liam Neeson. Talking about it as if he was in Taken, like if that was yeah. like real. Oh, yeah. Harrison Ford, going oh, with those guys. Wow. That would, be. that would be epic. What about you guys? You guys have anybody at home? Who, oh, Kirk Cobain's would be so sweet. I actually had that on there. Kirk Cobain would be awesome. Anybody at home? You Britney guys Spears. have anybody whose autobiography you'd want to read? Maybe, I don't know, the Backstreet Boys? Biz Scott's Marquis. Yeah. Biz Marquis. Oh, baby, you, you got, got what I need. need. Sing it. And you say she's just a friend. What? And you say she's <laughs> just a friend. Oh, baby, you. You got what I need. That was a locker room Ooh. hit when we were Ooh. here. That was awesome. Oh, yes. That's a favorite song that of the 90s. That was awesome. Yes. All right, we're going to turn things over now. Justin, we're going to bring on the Black Horse Rugby team for a wonderful interview. Gentlemen, welcome to the show. Justin, take it away. Guys, how we doing? Good. 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 Great, thank you for sore. being here. A little sore? <laughs> okay. Have one of your teammates rub you down. <laughs> Usually happens. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, we're on set right now. I'd rather not yeah. Right now, but. Great television. Later on. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes. It's pay-per-view. <laughs> it's like HBO. Um, 
Why did you, why did all you guys join the rugby team? What uh, got you into it? Um, I any, I actually started up. My friend just dragged me out, and I wanted nothing to do with it. I had El Diablo probably forty five minutes before, <laughs> and we did conditioning for our first day. Oh, did, you, oh, did you yak? Yeah. I almost killer. almost very close, but then we uh, ended up doing a scrimmage, and I I ended up loving it after that, and then stayed with it ever since. No accidents. No. Good. Not yet. I would have gotten nothing, nothing too bad yet. I would have gotten cookie cut. <laughs> Uh, what are the benefits you guys receive from being on the team, socially, athletically? Uh, well, it's a big group of friends when you join, um, and the, the sport uh, emphasizes teamwork. It's very important to be working together, so it's an interesting experience to, to play with guys on the field and then become friends with them off the field, um, and it also keeps you in great shape. We practice every day, so, nice. so uh, we're always running around and stuff. This question is about rugby. Have you ever killed anybody with your beard? <laughs> it, no, I made people run away from me. Oh, I like it. He has. I like to admit it, but okay. yeah, it was I can just we imagine. We don't talk about that. No? Okay. <laughs> Sorry for bringing it up. The cops are on the way. Dog the bounty hunter. Uh, when and where do you guys play your games? Um, we play both home and away games. Uh, when we do home games, we actually have one this weekend. Come check really? us out. Okay. Yep. South Ridge. Uh, we play... Behind um, the Cajun field, we have our own rugby pitch. There's big uprights. You can see it from uh, by Three yeah. Man Hill, that Three park end right there. Field. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, this Saturday at 2, we're playing Alfred. Uh, we'd love to have anyone here come out, check us out. Yeah. Um, going to kick some ass. Yeah, it's going to be a good game. Oh, yeah. So yeah, Hoping to roll some people. <laughs> roll some people. <laughs> 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 like jack them up? Yeah. Not me. Okay. No. You okay. guys got to see this guy. The beard guy is smaller than that. Yeah, he's one of the more male members of the team. So he's one of the backs, and you guys are the forwards? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So he really doesn't do much. They just kind of run into each he's, other. He just kind of looks stupid out there. No, we, we, the forwards like don't set the play and, run, yeah. and do the dirty work. We, we no. Do, we do the real play. No. That's how it works. But the backs do run fast. Yes. Yeah, yes. they get the score. Right. Right. But they do get crushed yeah. sometimes with the forwards. Yes. And the reason I know this is I used to play in high school. Nice. And I was a forward. Why don't you play now? Woohoo! I was thinking about coming out, actually. All right. Oh, oh, practice Friday. Practice night. Friday night. He's practice going Friday his beard night. out for it. He's trying to. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little scruffy, but it'll get better. Yeah. Well, speaking of that, um, if anybody's interested in playing rugby, can they contact you all? Or yeah, um, people like just come to practice. Contact any of us if you know if, like anyone yes. that's interested. Just like talk to us. Like I joined. Uh, uh, I don't know if you guys remember Lenny. I just saw him one night out, and he was just like, "Hey, dude, you look like you like." to play sports, and I was kind of just like, yeah, I'm trying to make this uh, story uh, appropriate. But, um, and I ended up coming back, and uh, I came out, and then I, Goldie was the first guy I met, and uh, he just, like, is like, yeah, just come out and join, and I fell in love with the sport. I might not be the best at it, uh, but I I love it, and uh, since I joined, like, these guys are like a second family, and I don't know what I would have done, like, the past two years without them, so. It was, a, it was a great time, and anybody should come out. Nice. We really do encourage everyone to come out. Like, we don't make cuts. We don't have dues. Um, if, you, yeah, if you're we, willing to show up and play, we'll take you. We so. field two teams as long as we have enough people, so you always get to play. Um, and it's very beginner-friendly. I mean, it, rugby is a sport that most people aren't familiar with, so mm -hmm. we're always catching people up when they come and they want to try it out. I didn't, have, I didn't have a clue about it. I'm still learning things about it, but... Right. I, mean, yeah, I think all these guys. I'm like yeah, 165 I've been pounds years, soaking wet. I still don't know half the yeah. sh shit. I'm 100 like 165 pounds soaking wet, yeah. so don't think you're too small for it <laughs> nice. because it's not too bad. Yeah, I'll never take that excuse. So many kids are trying to recruit them. Oh, I'm not big enough for rugby. Just no, no, no. excuse. Right. We want you to. Uh, who was uh, um, squirrels or something? He was small. Oh, yeah, yeah. So we, we yeah. there are some people that I do. You, did you guys see when we went to Savannah a couple weeks ago? The like two foot four girl that was on the team with the purple hair. Yeah. yeah. She was like, <laughs> there was a girl like this big running around. Like trying to tackle, like probably hard to tackle. The small ones, yeah. I mean, they're, they're they basic, they fast, sound, yeah. elusive. Yeah. <laughs> um, what does the you guys kind of talk to it, but um, what does the team mean for you? Like mean to you? Like Bev said, you guys are like a family. I mean, is that you guys all hang out afterwards and stuff? I mean, you guys best friends? Oh yeah, it oh, goes yeah. way beyond the field. Like I think that's part of the the brotherhood that builds up. Um, is you. <laughs> You have this, uh, your common point is the sport, and you go out there and you beat the hell out of each other. But you go out there, you work hard, you bleed, and it forms a stronger bond. So outside of that, too, we're all, we're all friends, we're always hanging out. Um, it really is a family. It, it builds up. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, it's probably like, I don't know, I, like college is 
like my main college experience has been like rugby. So, and this has been a great time. Yeah, I, I just transferred in this year, and without these guys, I would have I would have probably hated Fredonia, but I got stuck with a bunch of idiots. So it's nice weather. Here. We're not Why that dumb. Wouldn't, it's not weather. <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful not weather. It never rains or snows no, or windy here. or hails or <laughs> tornadoes and stuff. Yeah, I mean, there was a tornado warning a few last year. Was there really? Yeah, yeah I remember yeah. that. You remember that? Yeah, and then nothing yeah. wild. <laughs> then a chair just got knocked over. Yeah. <laughs> 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 a tornado a couple years ago, actually. Yeah. Blow the roof off the place. <laughs> um, <laughs> can you guys go through and kind of explain how the sport works and your position and what your position does? Yeah, well, um, it's the closest I can put rugby to would be soccer. They're very similar. Um, you're tackling, but the game is constantly flowing. Um, you know, it's not like the play's dead when the ball hits the ground like they have in American football. Um, all passes have to be backwards, but you can run forwards, so you're always aiming to have the guy with the ball out in the front of the pack. Um, and communication's huge. You want to make sure that he knows who's behind him so that the play can keep going. But you can also kick forwards. Um, and the more you kick, the more advantages you have in the game. So, I don't know, a lot of, a lot of people call it organized chaos because everyone is kind of running around all over the place. But when you get in and you get the feel for it, it's a pretty simple game overall. Um, I myself play eight man, which is uh, the last man in the forwards most of the time. Um, and my job is pretty much just to keep everyone um, rucking, which is what you do to, to hold possession of the ball as you go down the field. Um, and I'm also kind of the communicator with the forwards and the backs. This guy plays in the back line, yeah. so does he, but yeah. he's a forward too. Usually size helps to be up, up right. front with the bigger guys. Right. So you kind of like the safety, like a comparison to football? Sort of. Um, well, he's mostly the yeah. safety. I, I would okay. be like a safety in football. I'm kind of like the last man back. Like if anyone okay. kicks the ball, it's my job to like chase it down and either run with it or kick it. I usually just try and kick it down the field and let, just kind of let the team go after it. Because okay. I've, I've played soccer my whole life, so kicking is just kind of like a natural thing for me. Right. Well, yeah. cool. There's, uh, there's 15 guys on the field at a time. Um, per team? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, for each side. You have uh, – the 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 way that uh, the jersey numbers work is your number represents your position. Okay. So one through eight will be in the forwards. He's number one. The, um, when oh. you have this, yeah, when oh. you have the, oh. who's the hooker? The hooker. Excuse uh, me. He, no, that's uh, not special. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Chris <laughs> Chris D. Felice plays hooker on the team. Um, <coughs> another guy uh, named Jimmy. We call him Big Jim. He's a little bit Big newer, Jim. but he gets in at hooker. Went to high school. Huh? Um, yeah, the hooker and the two props are. Kid. What? Big Jim? He's uh he's really big. Sometimes <laughs> how do you get yours? Too. Um, I actually golden personality. <laughs> yeah, well, I I played a lot in high school, and um, the alumni um gave me a small uh, sp uh they just asked me to come uh, play here. And my my coach from high school played here uh, oh, back cool. when he went to college. So um yeah, th they helped me pay for my books like first semester and stuff, and I just fit in pretty well, so that everyone started calling me Golden Boy. Yeah. We actually have a question from Twitter. Uh, Tyler McTighe asks, I mean, I think it's because of that beard. <laughs> <laughs> Can nice you do beard. your best Zach Galifianakis impersonation? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he just, he just kind of stares angrily into the camera. Oh, sure. my <laughs> God. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's amazing. Yeah, and ask awkward questions and stuff. That's all I can think about when I look at you. I, I'll be honest. I, that's kind all I can think about. Wow. Back. Well, there you go, Tyler. That's amazing. That was awesome. Thank you for doing that. No problem. Watch out for those flories, you know? Yeah. Wait, wait, what did you say? I didn't hear you. I said, watch out for those flories. <laughs> right? Play on roofies. Um, how often do you guys have group showers? Um, <laughs> after practice every day, we uh, all go in together and like we hold hands. Sometimes like we scrub we each other. Each other. Oh, okay. oh yeah, we we have team soap and uh, occasionally <laughs> yeah, I get to drop the show. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. it makes yeah, sense. You know, it's Dove. Mm -hmm. and, Prison uh, rules. Oh, <laughs> dove, <laughs> <laughs> dove for men or just regular Dove? I don't I don't know why, but this guy keeps hitting the soap out of my hand. But <laughs> oh wow, yeah. Yeah. he's too into the game, I guess. Yeah. Too into it. Yeah, I get just, rocked all the time oh. in the shower. Shower shower rocking. Okay. Yeah, we do a lot of rocking, you know. <laughs> part of the team. Where Don't do you guys shower so we can all avoid there? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> anyway. Just hose each other down. 
Uh, what is the worst injury any of you have suffered or seen while playing rugby? Oh. I'm talking gross. Uh, uh, was it? I think it was my sophomore year. Yeah, we I was a, a freshman. Oh, yeah, this we, worst situation. Mind if I take this one? Yeah, um, my mom t- did not she want me hurt? playing rugby at all. No, oh. no, no. This is just funniest thing. My mom was so against me playing rugby. I finally get her to come out for a game. Very first play of the game, this kid on the other team, one of our members hits him high and the other guy hits him low and his ankle turns completely the oh, other way. God. Right in front of my mother. Oh, and I was nice. like, oh, this is what I need right that now. That was awesome. But it was, that was bad. His ankle was not facing yeah, any James, proper direction. James was a good one last, last uh, fall. When he, he split open the whole top of his head when his mom was there. Oh. It was bleeding everywhere. Oh, my God. He was at the drink up an hour yeah, later. He decided <laughs> to uh, get nine staples in his head, but didn't want any pain meds so he can go to our, our drink up and drink later on uh, in the day. The pain goes away then? Yeah. 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 That's that's so, uh, <laughs> That was interesting. That was that was one of the first games I actually watched, and I was like, "Oh, oh my oh god!" <laughs> that happened to me the fir- when we went to Greece with Weasel. Uh, my first uh, like time ever actually seeing a game, and uh, it was like Buff State and Oneana, and somebody on one of the teams hit the guy in the head. And I just remember seeing the head crack open and just blood coming down. And Giggles came up behind me. He's like, "So, uh, you excited to play now?" I'm like, "Totally." <laughs> <Hell yeah. laughs> where's Where's my helmet? Right. You can't wear helmets if you're. Yeah, there's not really. really there is though. a scrum cap. Yeah. Huh. Is it like the old school football helmets? Like yeah. Kind yeah. Of, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 okay. If uh, we were able to set it up, rugby versus the Quidditch team, would you guys beat them in Quidditch? Uh, I was I the Snitch Harry once. Potter fan. I'd like to Ooh. think so. Yeah, yeah. I actually uh, I think I'd be a pretty good Quidditch Fun player. fact, uh, my first or second week here, I decided to do the Quidditch team once. No way. And uh, they asked me to be the Snitch, and I had to stick a <laughs> tennis ball in my ass. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, wow. I ran around campus with people so on brooms chasing after so me. So did that make you want to join rugby after that? Uh, I, yeah, it was the first thing I wanted to do afterwards. Okay. Like, oh, I want to go join with a bunch of angry men. Yeah. yeah all right. Nice. <laughs> That's safe. That's Plenty of balls bad. there, too. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> oh. Got any Twitter questions? Yeah, I actually do. Um, <laughs> Jean-Claude Van Damme, a.k.a. Sean Jackson, actually asks, how much can Nick DeSarno deadlift? What's your 40 time, and how fast can you swim a freestyle 100 meter? Good question. Okay. Really great deadlift. question. Deadlift. Not much. Probably like 700. My 40 time, four... Two. Four, two. Four, four minutes, four. something like oh, that. Oh, four minutes. Four minutes. <laughs> it takes a while. <laughs> and uh, what was the last one? And uh, how fast can you swim a freestyle 100 meter? I'm an avid swimmer, so I'd say 10 seconds max. Really? Okay. Max. 10 seconds? Off. Wow. Yeah. Why are you on the swim team? I'm on the rugby team. <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> that's, Sorry. That's Take it. Go ahead, Justin. I, that's all I needed. After losses, do you guys get shirtless and cry on each other? Uh, we get shirtless sometimes, when it really hurts. Okay. We get shirtless loss. and drink. <laughs> yeah. Normally Which leads to the cry? Are, yes, usually. Yeah. 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 We all take turns petting his beard to make us feel better. It's quite funny. Yeah, I would like a shot at that. <laughs> That's so fine. Like happiness is just like coming from it. It's <laughs> awesome. Sends good vibes. Right I would like to see him rub his beard on Scott's chest hair. Whoa! Oh, yes! Oh. <laughs> that Come would be a show. Oh my goodness. I mean, uh, Hook it up yeah, to a battery. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> sense, but I'm pretty sure like the world would blow up yeah, if that happened. I, I can do that. <laughs> can this happen? Can we do yes. this? Can this happen right now? Sure. Oh my <laughs> god! Bearded chest hair fusion. Um, do you wanna, do you wanna like, I feel like Goldie, Goldie, Goldie should go over to the guest. Producer, right? Yes! Right now, yes! Woo! We're gonna get a photo of this here. Sneak right by there. <laughs> so, right. Remember this, Michael oh J. Fox. Oh my yes. god, wait, smile, everybody. You gotta get one more button. One more button. Oh, oh yeah. Wow. That's a big Maybe beard. two. Maybe two will be good. This is gonna be magical. Oh, man. <laughs> mm. oh yeah, that's good. <laughs> yes. Wow. Oh. That might have been the greatest <laughs> moment of my life. Can I? Like a whole yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, can I get a yeah, let's round of applause for that. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Woo! That was with zero wow. alcohol. Today. Well, after that, I feel it. I mean, do you want to wrap things up? Do you have any more questions, One Justin? more question. I think a lot of people are asking it. Good after gracious. After that, but uh, what's the weirdest Woo! thing that has ever happened to any of you in a scrum? The weirdest thing. Um, oh, in a scrum. Oh, good uh, gracious. I thought we were just talking in general. Well, no. Mark, this is, I just want to point out a misconception, too, real quick. The scrums are a, a lot neater. What, what everybody refers to in rugby, like when everybody dives at each other, that's the ruck. Okay. So lots of bad stuff happens. I mean, I don't 
I can't think of a whole lot of weird things, but people will try and take a lot of cheap shots at you oh, while you're down on the ground. Oh Especially boy. if you're blocking the ball. Yeah, they'll just kick you and stuff. I remember one of our old players, and I won't say his name, but um, he was a little bit like that too. Uh, he retired last semester. Uh, okay. But I think I might know who Yeah, uh, I see. His name uh, started with a D, and the second part of his name started with an S, and then the last part started with Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. I don't name names here. So, so what do you do? Um, I don't remember if you remember Ithaca, um, the one, I, I don't know, the oh, kid like stomped on his foot. Yeah. And he brought him down and just started punching him in the face for no reason. Yeah, and then, like, no started no. stomping on him. Good. You actually, that's the only thing out? you can't we do with this sport. Yeah, 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 we, 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 no we that, 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 that doesn't cool happen kind of often. Rugby yeah. yeah. Rugby's yeah. classy. But thank you guys for all being on. Yep. Oh, yeah, thank, you. thank you guys so much. You guys were awesome. And uh, I, I told somebody I would do this. This is a shout-out to Alex, who is not here, and her friend Margaret. So, yeah, there you go. And Shawnee J. Shawnee J. Shawnee J. Stay optimistic. They have, absolutely. All right, guys, we're going to take a quick commercial okay. break. Woo. When we come back, we're going to have music from Crash for you, so stick around, guys. Looking for these? You drive buzzed. Could be one very expensive ride. First, you got to make bail. Then pay me to get your car back. Your insurance premiums will go through the roof. And my legal fees just keep adding up. All told, it could end up costing you $10,000. Buzzed, busted, and broke. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. We don't win unless we work together. It's how we play our best. It's how we survive on the field. Now that same teamwork can save 13 million people affected by the famine, war, and drought in the Horn of Africa. Go to this site and forward the facts to everyone you know. The more people who know, the more money we can raise. And the more money we raise, the more people we can help. Because saving lives doesn't take a lot. It just takes a lot of us. give up on birth control either. There are more methods than you think. Find yours at bedsider.org. Hello there, gentlemen. Can you please share your names? Uh, my name's Tommy. And my name's Alex. What are you guys here for? We're here from the radio system. Donia Radio System. Yep. WCVF and WDVO. You got some nifty hardware there, boys. What's that? This is the bowling trophy that we won uh, against the leader and the TV station. Which means we're the best medium on campus. Join us because we're winners. Are you saying that you're better than the TV station? Uh, let's just have the bowling show. Get out. Looking for these? You drive buzzed, it could be one very expensive ride. First, you gotta make bail. Then pay me to get your car back. Your insurance premiums will go through the roof. And my legal fees just keep adding up. All told, it could end up costing you $10,000. Buzzed, busted, and broke. Because buzz driving is drunk driving.
All right, folks, and we are back. We are so lucky to have one of my favorite bands from the area, Crash Views here, playing from their debut album Between You, Me, and the Lamppost, their song Sweet Routine Intuition. Let's welcome Crash Views. Take it away, fellas. Mr. Teen, you've seen the best of me. So, intervened, striving for uncertainty. It's hard to imagine life in satisfaction when you're not living. Call to the action, possible distraction. Thank you. This is Rex Wants Called Tuition. Just my condition. 
double my tuition Sink my pride to a lower position My grades are so low, I don't even know If I'll survive in these desperate times Where am I now? Is there an ands? Reminiscence fouls me dead What will time bring to a sluggish man? Am I letting go of everything I know? This all I've done and let not get out. And every day I win, makes me more about ways. Maybe I should get my head together. much for being here. You guys want to talk about any upcoming shows you guys might have coming up? Uh, we got the Coyote Cafe coming up. Uh, big show coming up. Uh, we just played Hard Rock Cafe last week. Um, we were in the Hard Rock Rising competition. We ended up placing third in Western New York. So just uh, very grateful grateful, very grateful to be here. So Yeah. Heck Hope you guys yeah. liked it. You can also check us both out. My band's playing with their band oh, yeah. May 2nd at the Trelf, right? May 4th. Or 4th. 4th. Yeah. May 4th at the Trelf, right? Yeah, close enough. <laughs> Is it May It's not May 2nd? No. no it's oh. May All right. It's May 4th. My bad, everybody. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's at the Trelf, so do that if you want. But you guys can check them out. Crashviews.com, right? Yeah. Pick up their debut album, which is awesome. I'm just getting my first copy of it today. Probably gonna go back to my room, listen to it, and just cry myself to sleep. <laughs> I was say, the beauty of it. Do that? <laughs> very, very Thanks, Thanks good so stuff. Thanks but so we have a lot to look forward to in the upcoming weeks. We have only a few episodes left in the season, which is very unfortunate. I know, guys, you're gonna have to go a whole summer without us. Reruns. Reruns, also, yeah. And catch us, check us on YouTube for those of you who guys don't know. We have a YouTube page now, Fred Before Bed. You guys can literally just type into Google Fred Before Bed. And all of our episodes are going to be up. This episode is going to be up tomorrow night, for those of you guys who may have missed it. So you can check that out. Again, check me out on Friday, plugging for Diana's show, open mic night, 6 p.m. on Friday. I'm going to be playing an acoustic set. Tomorrow. Uh, a couple, actually, a couple shows tomorrow. Oh, yeah, yeah. and also, what am I thinking? Sports uh, Hour, you can see me, Scott, and are you going to be on tomorrow? And then Inside Hot Jokes, is, inside jokes as well at Inside Jokes tomorrow. But anyway, in any event, have a wonderful night, you guys. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Take it easy, and we'll see you next and week. And do not do anything I wouldn't do.